disturbing to say the least. And as you might imagine, people who live in the area where this happened were alarmed and quite upset. Tips flooded the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, and now detectives have a suspect in custody who, from what we understand, they are questioning at this hour. So I got woken up to my wife screaming my daughter's name. Um, somebody was in our house. I turned and then I just like saw my daughter's door open and I was like, no, 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 her daughter, her room's never open. I jumped up, um, went out to my garage, the door was open. Um, my side garage door was completely broke and my gate was open. Daniel Rolls and Jacqueline Isinga were awakened when deputies tell eight on your side, this man broke into their home made his way into their daughter's bedroom, came back out with his hands in his pants, and then went back in before running off. The child wasn't physically hurt. Jacqueline's stomach has been in a knot all day. Mostly trying not to think about what could have happened and what actually happened. Um, that's what I've been doing all day, is just thinking about, like, wow, this could have turned out way worse. The home invasion happened at a home on Flora Avenue in Holiday early Thursday morning. Prior to the arrest, people in the area were on high alert. Definitely keep the garage door locked. Locked all your doors. Most definitely. Yeah. Probably invest in a camera. So that's good that they had a camera. So the big question now, who is this guy? I've been in contact with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Public Information Officer to try and find out who he is, where he lives, and what he's going to be charged with. Still no information on that. We're working to get the answers to those questions. Reporting live in Pasco County, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side. A uh, murderer is off the street, and we stopped, I really think, uh, what could have been Seminole Heights 2.0.